Hi everyone and welcome to the Master of International Security. I am Joanne Wallace, I'm Professor of International Security here at the University. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge and pay respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians whose ancestral lands we gather on. We acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship of the Ghana people to country, and we respect and value their past, present and ongoing connection to the land and cultural beliefs. Some background to the program, it is a two year degree or 18 months if you are in the extension program. The extension program is for students who have an existing bachelor's degree in a cognate subject. For example, if you have done a bachelor's of international relations that would qualify you for the 18 months extension program. It is designed and delivered by Adelaide's internationally recognised academics whose research informs Australian national security policy, international security organisations and non-government organisations. It involves integrating knowledge from our politics, international relations, public policy, Asian studies and geography experts here at the university. So why have you made the right decision to study international security? It is the only degree in international security in South Australia. It has been designed in direct consultation with industry and the course content meets current industry trends and needs. There is an increasing demand for international security specialists in the government, not-for-profit and private sectors. And I can't emphasize that enough. I talk a lot to government and one of the things that I often hear, particularly from defense, is that they are very short staffed on people with this kind of expertise and really looking for new people. So this is a great degree to have chosen if you're interested in a, in a career in defense, intelligence um, and so forth. The Faculty of Arts at the University of Adelaide is ranked number one in South Australia. The degree presents a unique opportunity to combine practical skills with cutting edge research. And I'm actually in negotiations with Defence at the moment to hopefully get an internship, which would be fully a paid internship scheme running hopefully very soon. And it will involve um, giving you skills in international security that will prepare you for jobs in, of the future. The degree structure, for the extension program, as I noted for people with the existing Cognate bachelor's degrees, you need to complete a combined total of not less than 36 units. That comprises 12 units of core courses, 18 of research dissertation and training courses, and six of elective courses. For the conversion program, it is 48 units, that's two years, a few more core courses and elective courses. So in your first year, you will study POLIS 7026 International Security, which is the compulsory core course. That is taught by me, and it gives you a really good grounding in the major approaches to international security. The other core courses on offer this year, are, you can see listed there. I note that because of some administrative issues, these are not formally, all of them not, not, not formally included in the degree program that you will see on the website. However, it's very easy to lodge a program variation with the Faculty of Arts office in order to enrol in these programs. You also have a choice of a large number of electives, including some excellent public policy courses that I would recommend. You will graduate from this program with advanced skills in identifying and analyzing emerging global security threats, a deep understanding of strategic cultures and unconventional conflict, the opportunity to explore particular interests in cybersecurity, Indo-Pacific security, national security law, transnational crime, human rights, the impact of climate change and more. You'll also have high level research skills through your final year research project. You'll graduate well equipped for senior security strategy and policy related roles across the globe, including as an intelligence analyst, a policy officer, strategic analyst, information management officer or a risk analyst. Some administrative issues. My uni will be your go-to for information about your different courses. And you can see the website there on the slide. You need to make sure that you can access each of your courses in my uni. And this is where course coordinators communicate with students. And this is where all the course material is located. There will be notifications and announcements that come out via my uni that you want to be on top of, particularly as they often relate to assessment. Now we are unable as academics to provide assistance with my uni issues, but luckily there is a lot of assistance available. And this is what this slide shows. Never come to an academic for technical support, we're hopeless, but luckily there is very good IT support provided elsewhere in the university. 
some important uni dates here. So when the semester commences on the 28th of February and some dates there about the payment of fees and the census dates and so forth when you're able to withdraw. Additional study support that's provided is listed here. I strongly encourage you, particularly if you are coming here with English as your second language, to seek out support from these different services. They are free. You are paying for them, though, of course, by your fees, so you might as well take advantage of them. They will offer you, particularly the Writing Centre, support with academic English, for example, that can be really important. Counselling can also be very important. You know, let's face it, the world is not the easiest place to be in at the moment, and sometimes things can be difficult. And having access to free counselling is a really important service if you do need a little bit of assistance and support. You can also consider joining the Politics and International Relations Association, PIRA. It is primarily an undergraduate association, but they are very active and do an amazing job of getting together and inviting speakers to come to talk to students, particularly career-related speakers. If you want to pursue careers in DFAT, defence and so forth, that's a great um, resource to have access to. If you need any help with your enrolment study plan or other questions, recommend first instance going to the student advisors at the um, Ask, Ask Adelaide at Arts. Again, this is where if you want to do a program variation to include a few of those, elect, um, those core courses, the POLIS um, core courses, this is where you would go um, to lodge that variation. And here's a different, a couple of ways to stay connected to the university. This slide is primarily directed at undergrad students, but just to remind you that you are responsible that um, for your own learning and that time management can be challenging. It's my advice is to always talk to your course coordinators if you are getting into trouble, if you're thinking, look, I'm not gonna be able to get this assessment in if something's happened at home, if you've been unwell, particularly with COVID-19 hanging over all our heads, the earlier that you flag these issues with your course coordinator, the better, because they can always, talk to you about extensions or other provisions that can be can be made for you. It's much better to seek that ahead. I know that's not always possible. Things come up at the last minute, but the sooner that you can do it, the easier it usually is. And here's a, suggest, a suggested number of ways that you can enjoy your studies. I think I'd just stress number three, always ask for help if you need it. That is from the different services that I highlighted before. And as I said, always speak to your your course conveners if you think that you're going to have trouble meeting due dates and talk to them about what's been happening with you and what they might be able to do to help. In terms of what's next, if you're not happy with your enrolment at the moment, say you want to include a few of those core courses that aren't formally listed in the program but which are on the books, just contact the, the faculty office and lodge a, a, a program variation. I, they just come to me for approval, it's very straightforward. You want to activate your MyUni account because that's where you get all your course information, get your student card because that'll allow you to borrow library books and um, those other suggestions there. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon in Polis 7026. Thank you. Bye.